see that flatbed truck up there in front of me? I wonder if he's going to the same place. Look like he has some hoses up there. I gotta be careful with this green light. So it might turn yellow as soon as I get to it. Oh, we got it. Yeah, I knew it was gonna turn yellow as soon as I came in, just came inside the curb. Yeah, we made it though. No trucks over three quarter tons on McCullough Circle. I'm not sure where McCullough Circle's at. I don't think I made it that far. But I gotta ride this road for 1.2 miles to West North Avenue. West North Avenue, make a right. Only three miles away from my uh, receiver. Oh man. I always have a little bit of anxiety when I come to places I've never been before. Cause you don't know what to expect. You don't know, especially a job site. Really can't pinpoint it. Really can't pinpoint the job site looking on Google Maps. If you go on satellite view or street view, you really can't pinpoint it. So I always have a little bit of anxiety. Not not really not really too too much where I like panic or something. But like you just gotta be just gotta be really cautious going to a place you've never been before. I mean, but that's that's usually how trucking works, you know. A lot of times, a lot, a lot of guys, you don't really run regional like I do. A lot of guys just strictly OTR. You're always going to different places. Hell, it takes, man, you could be trucking for 40, 50 years and, and go to a place that you've never been just like that. You're not going to always go to the same places. And that's, that's one thing about me. I kind of got spoiled at PNS because I've been going to the same places over and over. So then every once in a while, they throw a monkey in the, how you say it? Throw a monkey in the loop, whatever. I don't, I don't know the saying. Maybe one of y'all can tell me, I'm not sure. I don't know. But you know, whatever that little saying is. But uh, throw, the, throw the wrench in the, in the monkey. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready to get this load off, though. I'm ready to get it off so I could uh, find out what my next load is going to be. And since I'm right in the middle of Baltimore, if I had to guess, I would say it's a 99.9% .9 chance that I'm going to go pick up shingles. Unless I go over to uh, Dundalk, that drop yard we got, the Payne Trucking, Dundalk, Maryland, we got a drop yard. I wouldn't mind going there, getting the preload. Hey, another thing I noticed about flatbed too, I don't, I'm not, I don't know how it is in the drive-in world, but a lot of things I notice about industrial areas that we mostly deliver to, most of the times, if you go to an industrial area, it's gonna be in the projects, it's gonna be in the hood. Like, look where we at right now. It's hood out here. This is ghetto. I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm just saying, hey, it is what it is. Most of these industrial areas are in the projects. And I'm assuming that it has to do with the, uh, with the, with the, the land, the price of the land. I'm, that's what I'm assuming. Land's probably cheaper in, the, in industrial areas. Look at that police officer with the mask on. Yeah, this, hey, this, this reminds me of Queens. People just sitting outside on the steps like they ain't got no work to do. But they could be working like myself. Could be trucking. Could be could be driving trucks instead of chilling on the block all day. Hey, some people don't look at all these people. 
Some people don't want to work. I tell you what, I couldn't hang out in the projects all day and not work. I can't do it. One point of my life, I did that for probably about three. I did it probably about, I want to say about three months. Sat around with no, nothing to do but sitting at my mama's house, sitting on the porch, hanging out with my cousins. I was going through a bad point in life where I, I was kind of feeling sorry for myself. So I used to sit around and get high and drink just to get my mind off of it. That was years ago. Y'all see me now? I've, I've been delivered. I'm a whole new man. Flatbed, he's up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to the same place. Oh man, catching all. Oh, there we go. Green light, green light. Green light, green light, go. Turn on red. Like an area where you would see uh see protesters. That's what it looks like. Looks like a Black Lives Matter movement out here. right turn. Make sure I don't hit nobody walking. Come on, young lady. Go ahead and get across. Come on, young lady. Don't hit that trailer. watching her the whole time.
turn on Druid Hill Avenue. Flatbed Gang Facebook group. I, I know I always tell y'all to tell y'all to join it. <laughs> but yesterday, I posted I posted a picture of my load. I got some I got blue pipes right now. I posted a picture yesterday. I said black pipes, white pipes, purple pipes. I don't discriminate against what color pipes I pull. All all pipes matter. I think that's what I, I either said all pipes matter or pipe pipe lives matter. Something I said. But yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that uh flatbed game Facebook group up. Got another tight turn right here. Come on, white car. I need to take both lanes up to make this turn. No trucks over three quarter tons. So I gotta go down to West. I didn't I, I might could have I might could have took that route, but I didn't want to take the chance because I don't know what's down there. So I'm just let the truck GPS route me around it. But it's taking me down. Taking me down 0.3 miles to North Avenue. And then I'll make a left. Gonna come back up that way. We got a car, disabled. I ain't gonna say it's disabled. Probably somebody just uh, ran inside the house or something. Just sitting there chilling in the middle of the road. That's how they do it in the north. Stop while that light is green because I ain't taking no chances down here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, 0.7 miles, connect the road. Almost there. We're getting warm, baby. We're getting warm. I know a lot of y'all like y'all like this driving footage. We're almost there. Oh, I see 83 on my GPS. That's what the guy said yesterday when I was talking on the phone with him. He was like, if you're coming off 83, just tell him it won't far away. Plan comes together. 
even though I had to go all the way around the block to get over here. And that's where it's at, Druid, Druid Park Lake Drive. Love it when the plan comes together. Now I gotta find a construction entrance when I get there. Hey, I sure do pre I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. I know I know once I start recording while I'm driving, while I'm driving, I know I know it can last for a good while. Like, like we're about 15 minutes right now. So I know it'll last a good while. So I appreciate y'all that uh don't don't click the video off. And, you know, y'all actually really watch the whole thing and, and whatever. I appreciate that. I try not to make the videos too long for you, but man. Sometimes it just happens. <laughs> sometimes it just happens, man. Hey, so y'all, hey y'all, let me know. Y'all let me know down in the comments, man. If if they're too long for you, if if, if you. If you don't like them, yeah, I really appreciate it. to my right it looks like the job site I can see it I don't know if y'all can see it I just saw the job site end of the tunnel. I see him. I see how difficult this right turn is going to be. Woo! Hey, trust the process. Trust the process. Don't get discouraged. Do not get discouraged. Oh, this is a tight right turn. Get up in here. Hey, trust the process, gang. Trust the process. All right, let's get up in here, baby. Let's get up in here. Trust the process, man. Hey, I feel like a boss getting up in here, man. I feel like a boss. Hey, y'all wonder why I'm yelling? Hey, this is this is satisfying, man. Now I just need to figure out where I'm gonna go from here. <laughs> Trust the process. 
got a dam over there. I wonder if he's coming for me. I'm waiting on the farmer to get here. It don't take but one time for you to do a load. You'll have a little anxiety about it. It don't take but one time. Next thing you know, it's just like getting a tattoo. First time you get a tattoo, you're like, oh man, it's gonna hurt. I don't wanna do it. Man, you get the tattoo, you be like, damn. It, did, it won't so bad after all. That's how this load right here feels. Now I know exactly what I gotta do the next time. 1896483. Now I know exactly what I gotta do next time. But right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say flatbed gang. <laughs> One more time, man. Flatbed gang, man. Hey, I love y'all. <sighs> Wait on my DM. Maybe they don't say nothing about me sitting over here. But I'm gonna wait it out as long as I got to till they tell me I gotta move. <laughs> hey, y'all know how it goes, man. Woo! I'm out. Love y'all. <laughs>